What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 7th physics tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to calculate something called absolute error and percentage error. It's basically the formula you use whenever you want to figure out how much did you mess up by. It's actually one of the very first formulas that your teacher teaches you in either college or high school physics. So say for example that you were doing your very first college lab and your teacher wanted you to find the weight of a cheeseburger or something. So what they did is they gave you this cheeseburger however maybe your equipment wasn't right on point or maybe you smoked a little pot before class so you weren't really on top of your game. So we needed to you know find out the answer that we got was probably a little bit different than the answer that it should have been. So in order to calculate how much we messed up by, we can use these formulas called error functions or error formulas. So before we go ahead and get to the formulas, I need to talk to you guys about some variables. Now whenever we're working with these formulas, D, D A is going to stand for absolute error. Now, for example, this basically means in everyday terms, how much did you mess up by? Say, for example, we have a cow that weighed 300 pounds. However, whenever you measured it, you found that it weighed 290 pounds. And that may be because, you know, you weren't paying attention really to the scale. Or maybe the scale you weighed it on is from, you know, 1620 the year 1620 so you know it's not the most reliable scale so anyways you messed up by 10 pounds so 10 would be your absolute error so that's your quick little uh, you know explanation of that basically means how much did you mess up by now the other variables we need is XM and XM is not the radio it means measured value or basically the value that you came up with so in this case it would be 290 since that's the value that you came up with I'm really pretty handwriting I just noticed that and the last variable is X a if I can write that correctly I'll get that eventually give me some time X a equals actual value and this pretty much means the correct value or the value that it should be so the correct weight of the cow was 300 so let me go ahead and just give you guys another real quick example so say we want to cal calculate the absolute error let me think of something we'll go ahead and do the cheeseburger example so say our teacher gave us a cheeseburger and we needed to find the mass of that cheeseburger well whenever we calculated the mass of that cheeseburger we found that it had a mass of 5.8 kilograms however when our teacher did it she got a value of 5.6 so she knows what she's doing so 5.6 kilograms is the actual value so what we need to do is we need to take 5.8 and subtract 5.6 and we get 0.2 kilograms for DA, in other words, our absolute error is 0.2 kilograms. That's how much we messed up by. Pretty simple stuff, huh? So now let me go ahead and add a new layer and show you guys how to calculate percentage error. Now, the variable is a little bit different. It's actually just written a little bit different. It's D percentage, and this stands for percentage error. I probably have the best handwriting in the world. So D percent equals percentage error. And this basically means instead of coming up with a value like 0.2 or you know 10 pounds whatever, we come up with a percent. So it's like we messed up by 10% or 3% or something like that. So let me go ahead and change my color. Let me change it to something like bright red. So say we had, well let me give you guys the formula for percentage error. So the formula for percentage error equals 100 times our measured value XM minus the actual value over the actual value so this looks really complicated but it's actually really easy so let me go ahead and 
I guess we'll do that uh, cheeseburger example. Let's see if I can remember the values. So we came up with, what was it, 5.8 kilograms? I'll leave the kilograms out. And the actual value was 5.6. So what we do is we take 5.8 minus 5.6 and we get 0.2 and we need to divide that by the actual value. Now the actual value was 5.6. So 0.2 divided by 5.6 equals 0 0.0357. So what we need to do now is we need to take this number and times it by 100. So all we need to do in order to times it by 100, move the decimal points two places to the right. So 3.57 is our percentage error. Pretty cool, huh? So basically, again, one last time is we take the measured value, which is 5.8, and subtract the actual value, which is 5.6, and we get this number right here, in this case it was 0.2, and we take that and divide it by the actual value, which was 5.6 again. This number and this number are the same. And then all we need to do is once we have our value, times it by 100, and bam, there we go. Our percentage error, perfect. And hopefully this number is as small as possible. If this number is small, it means you did a really good job. If this number is big, it means that, uh, you know, you might want to lay off the uh, weed before class just a little bit. So there you go, that's how you calculate errors and uh, yeah like I said hopefully we won't be using this formula too much but whenever we need it there it is. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.